Becky, can you kind of tell us where we are with this whole restoration thing of the USS Iowa, where we are in the process and what's going to be happening? Yes, absolutely. The ship is in Richmond, California, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. They have taken off a lot of the teak deck. Um, it's getting painted battleship gray, and uh, they're going to reassemble the mast. And in about six to eight weeks, they will then the ship will travel from the Northern California down to LA area, travel under the Golden Gate Bridge, which will be just awesome. When it went in, there were people lined up all over the uh, shore, bridges, um, watching the ship. So we're very excited about that. It'll be really a lot of fun. And it uh, is scheduled then to open up uh, to the public the week of the Fourth of July down in Los Angeles, San Pedro. All right, and we're looking for the big grand opening down there? Yes, absolutely. We haven't really started to plan it yet. We're waiting kind of on the precise time. Uh, but there will be a huge grand opening. Uh, and it will also be a big celebration when it leaves Northern California under the Golden Gate Bridge. It will be remarkable to see awesome. a, a ship that big going under the bridge and then coming into L.A. And one of the big things, whenever Iowans go out there and want to take a tour, it will be free? It is free of charge for all Iowans. They just need a driver's license, and they'll be uh, welcomed on board free. And, and Iowa has really stepped up and done an awful a lot for this ship. It's its namesake, obviously, but the, the state has appropriated a lot of money, and uh, the Pacific Battleship Center is extremely grateful for the early support from its Iowans. All right. Thanks a lot, Becky. Thank you, Bonnie. Thanks so much. I'm, and they know about that. What, you guys got a, what, a poem or something? Yes. You ready? Okay. Her number, BB-61, Iowa, her name, she's earned 11 battle stars, filling shells like gray. Oh, glory flies above her deck for all the world to see. Her gun's the biggest gun around to keep our people free. Gunnery practice was the call the mighty shells. They flew, then given was the order. Prepare to fire turret two. Oh, my, they cried in turret two. Something had gone wrong. As sailors rushed to fight the fires in, in a mighty storm. When the count of the sailors taken 47 were no more, a dozen would survive to sail the seas once more. Wise parents and children mourn those they love so well. Their captain and their president, the nation's grief did tell. Though they did not die in battle nor in the time of war, yet as patriot and heroes they are remembered evermore. Seeming nearly human, Iowa recalls every name and cries out, Oh dear patriot, your deaths are not in vain. Hey, Emma. Facts. Some facts. Okay. Can you say them real loud? Go ahead. In 1942, during World War II, the USS Iowa carried President Franklin D. Roosevelt across the Atlantic Ocean for a very important meeting with other world leaders. It cost $110 million to build the USS Iowa in the 1940s. Can you even imagine how much it would cost to build today? Boy, that's true. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Bonnie, you can come sit down and pick up the... There once was a state with a ship that was so fast it could really zip. It served during the war. Its cannons near war. That ship could travel at a good time. Wow, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Do you know the one about there was an old man from Borum? <laughs> no. That's probably just as well. <laughs> Battleship, big, powerful, traveled, fired, decommissioned, navy, missile, sailors, naval museum, commissioned, served, sailing, fast, steric, tugboat. Very, very good. Thank you. Ooh. Man, kids are sharp, aren't they? Were a crew member on the USS Iowa? Yes, I was on there from 1956 to 58. I put it out of commission in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What was that like living on something like that? Well, it was really nice. I stayed down, I had a quarters up on the main deck, and you had to watch it when we had rough seas to get into the compartment. Sometimes we couldn't even get in there. We had to stay inside the ship during the rough seas. Isn't it? Uplifting to see these little these little kids. They know about the USS Iowa. They've learned all about it and what they're doing here today. Yeah, it's great. I want to commend them for what they're doing. <laughs> well, we want to commend you for what you've done for the United States of America. Thank you for your service. Okay, thank you too. We have uh, some girls here. I want you to hear from them because Hannah and Hayden Van Houten are here. Hi, girls. How Hi. old are you? 
Um, I'm 13. And you are? A nine. And you've been practicing something here today, so I want everybody to stand up. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the Hey, hey, hey.